When we first met Larissa, she was arriving in Hawaii, moving into a secluded island paradise, expecting to meet eligible men from around the country who had come to win her heart. I came here hoping that I could find the love of my life. And if that happens, it would be great. And then it was time, the night she was introduced to the bus of bachelors, who turned out to be Average Joe's. How are ya? Jeez, what the f did I get myself into? I was definitely the nerd. I have a lot of friends who are girls, but no girlfriend. Anybody can go by anybody by their first name. Did you guys take these guys and, and, and primp them so that they look even more dorky? Once she decided to give them a chance, the competition to win her affection was on. Yes. Let's face it, supermodels aren't lined up outside my door ready to ask me out. Baby. So I can do this. Several guys developed intense feelings for Larissa. Can I have a kiss? I definitely feel the later stages of love. I haven't had those feelings in a really long time, and it is really scary. I really kind of surprised myself that I really found something that was special. I would love to have someone like that in my life. And then, the twist they never saw coming. These guys will not know what hit them. I'm just gonna have to be a little nasty. Their world invaded by eight new guys, eager to ruin their island paradise. You think you're above me? Yes. And any chance they might have to get the girl. In jocks versus geeks, jocks always win. This very moment is the time to be pissed off. This is Revenge of the Nerds again. It's the Alpha Betas versus the Lambda. Wow. We look like a bunch of chumps. In the midst of it all, Brian took a risk. I really like you and put his heart on the line for the first time. I've never said I love you to anybody. I'm just feeling so proud of myself for sharing feelings. Brian stayed focused while the twists kept on coming. I say we push it. Oh my God. As soon as I find out who it is, they're gone. It should have never been said. I don't give a Do I look day. like a fat bald dude, do you? I mean, do no. I? These guys I'm cast with are the same guys that were kicking my ass in school. They're fake. And the biggest shock of all came the night the guy's first impressions were put to the ultimate test. Mike fell for Larissa on top of a volcano. If I died tonight, I'd be a very happy man. But started to question his feelings when he took one look at her mom. I was thinking big ass. She is small. <laughs> no angles. And I've heard everything that you have said about me. The first person going home tonight is Michael. I open my heart, and in doing that, I tend to open my mouth. With strong emotions at stake, elimination nights were tense, and it was hard saying goodbye. Tony? I thought we had something going that was really special. I have to say goodbye tonight. I'll miss you. You may not have the best looks, but as long as you believe in yourself, that's what's important. Be who you are and don't let anybody tell you differently. She knows that I'm not what she's looking for. It hurts. Tonight, two guys remain. Brian, one of the original average Joes, I was a little guy in the scenario. And Gil, who came in with the new arrival. Now each of them has one final date as they take Larissa to their hometowns. She goes to South Florida with Gil. I'm so happy right now. Then it's Brian's turn in his beloved Boston. There's only a select few things in this world worth fighting for, and I think you're one of them. You hear the things that he had to say just blew me away. And in a final twist, Larissa reveals a secret she's been keeping from the guys. I do have something in my past that I felt it was time for them to know. I'm extremely surprised. Wow. In the end, her heart is torn. The two guys on their way here are both amazing. It is the ultimate showdown of looks versus charm. He absolutely touched me in a way that the other guys did not. Who will she choose? Is tonight the night the fairy tale ending finally comes true? Or is there more heartbreak in store for the average Joe?
looking back at everything that I've done, all the activities done, all the things that I've learned, all the people that I've met. It's, it's sad at the same time that it's exciting to know that one chapter is over, but I'm going to be starting something new. The two guys on their way here are both amazing, and it crushes me that I'm going to have to send one of them home knowing that they may never talk to me again. The decision to choose one is not an easy choice because they have different qualities and I have a conflict with myself about why I would choose one over the other. I feel like the best thing that I can do is to look into my heart and look back on the dates that I've had with these guys. And I feel like I've gotten to know them well enough to make my final decision, especially in the last few days, getting to go to their hometowns and get a glimpse of their daily lives. Today I'm real excited. We're here in my hometown, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Hi, Gail. I'm excited to see you. Good to see you. Get a chance to show her exactly where I'm, where I'm from and, you know, my, my life has existed before I've known her. Great, have a good time. You ready? I'm ready. Good. Excited. I'm really excited to be in Florida. I'm hoping that by being in Gil's hometown, it's really going to allow him to be comfortable, more so than any of the other times that we've spent together. The times I've done my best and been my best is without feeling pressure and just being myself. I'm looking to do more of that today, just let loose a little bit more and let myself come out and have a really good time and I feel a lot more comfortable now that I'm here at home. After the airboat ride, Gil took me to a construction site that his company's been working on. So you actually do some of this yourself? Yeah, you I can do all of this. He's definitely opening up. He had a lot of energy when we were in the building talking about the construction and it's another side of him that I'm, I'm starting to see. You want to do some mud work? Sure. Keep going, come on. Yeah, we got, got the whole room to do. Let's go. <laughs> got work to do. Gil is really tied to Fort Lauderdale. He's got some really strong roots here. And you know, it's one thing to talk about it, but it's another thing to really see it. When you're doing construction, it really, really helps to have a good reputation. In that sense, it's very wise for me to stick in this area. You know, that kind of is an issue because if we were to continue any kind of relationship, it's really hard to do it over long distance. We're going to have a nice ride on the cigarette boat. Have you ever been on one before? No, I haven't. Neither have I. Something like that. It was unbelievable. When we finally got done going 100,000 miles an hour, and the boat kind of turned in the right direction, and I said, "That's where we're going to be going tonight." Arriving at the Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, it's just, it's, it's very magical. I feel like there's a very strong connection with Gil. I think that our demeanors are kind of similar, but I think I'm a little more open-hearted than he is. I actually have a little surprise for you. It's nothing big, but it's very special. I got it because it reminds me of the ocean, which also reminds me of your eyes. It's completely different when I'm with Brian because Brian is completely open. He tells me exactly how he feels. It's a St. Christopher medallion. Protects you. Thank you very much. I will wear this and remember you. Mm -hmm. Remember this. That's very thoughtful. Thank you very much. He is holding back. And I think beyond that, that there's something there that is incredibly special. 
and it's just a matter of trying to uncover that, and I don't know if I'll ever see that. The best things in life happen when you least expect it. Truth in that. I'm so happy right now. It makes me happy knowing you're happy. I'm not a guy that wears my heart on my sleeve. I am not someone that just busts out of the open with a crazy emotion all the time. I like to be practical, I like to be educated, I like to be thoughtful in the things that I do. To this experience, and to you. Cheers. We'd had the whole day of not saying a lot, and I knew that the night was coming to an end, and I just felt like there's so much that needed to be said. What would you hope would happen out of this? Oh, I'd be, you know, of course, an actor. because it's just the coolest thing in the world. You know, you get to actually be someone else. Mm -hmm. I was completely shocked when Gil told me that he wanted to be an actor. And I was kind of like, where did that come from? You think you could do that with all the cameras? Would you be comfortable? I don't know. I've never had a, a bit of, I'm, you know, you know me, I'm nervous around him now, this so probably kind not, of so. I'd been trying to get Gil to open up and share his emotions and his passions with me. And this idea of acting just totally threw me for a loop. It made me wonder if he had been acting this whole time with me. It's on your mind. What's your biggest fear from this whole thing? What are you afraid of? With Gil, more than any of the other guys, I feel like I opened myself up, knowing that he's very hesitant. I kind of put myself in a vulnerable position to feel hurt. if somebody isn't reciprocating their feelings as much as I would be. I have the hardest time trying to step out of this perfect fairy tale world that we're in and get the real things on paper and say, what's the deal here? I mean, I hope she knows by now that I would, I'm very interested in her and I definitely see myself dating her. Is this real? As far as I've assessed, I think you're a real person. I'm actually a mechanical robot. Really? Yeah. Tear off the mask, Special hold on, let me get that off. Yeah. <laughs> Next couple of days, nobody has any idea what the outcome's gonna be. I gave her a hug for the very last time, and I wanted to squeeze it for every last moment. Thanks for coming to my hometown. Thanks for showing me around. Fort Lottie Dottie. <laughs> Today has run the gamut of emotions, and I love to be with Gil. On the other hand, there's this side of him which hasn't been fulfilled, which scares me half to death, that I don't know if he'll ever be able to express himself emotionally in the way that I would like to hear, and I think most women need to be reassured every now and then. Still to come, Brian's turn in Boston, where the home field advantage. You got a good guy here. I know. Means everything. I fell in love in center field at Fenway Park. Then later, what is the secret Larissa is ready to share? I do have something in my past. And finally, the dramatic decision that jets one of them off on a romantic getaway. I know that I have feelings for you. While the other takes the bus ride home tonight. visit. It's the grand finale. You know, we've saved the best for last. As I'm waiting for the limo to show up, I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm falling in love for the first time, you know, during this reality show. It's really unreal to me. Marissa. Hey, Brian. It's good to see you. Mm -hmm. I want to see Brian step it up. I want to see him make me feel more like a woman. I want to see him be more of a man, in a sense, and that I want to see Brian have some more moves. Got to head out on a ship. All right. So what do you think of Boston so far? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah? I like it. Boston's really not a city of flash. No. No. What, is, what do you mean a city of flash? The, the Bostonians, they're not flashy people. You know, it's all about substance. I think there was a little subtext there. Basically, Brian was telling me about himself when he talked about Bostonians. and saying that they're people of substance, people of quality. I got a little present for you. Dude! Yep, if you want to come over here. Came upon a buoy. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. No way. Wow. And I yanked up a lobster trap that had two lobsters in it. You know what? <laughs> why don't we uh, why don't we name these guys? Okay. The big one's gonna be Jimmy. And the the smaller one, but still very muscular, uh -huh. is gonna be Gil. Okay. <laughs> Alright. 
So what do you think? Do you want to eat them or do you want to let them go? What do you want to do? Let's let them go. I think you want to let them go. I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll let them go down there. They can shave each other's chests down to the ocean floor. I think the lobsters were very symbolic in giving them the name of Jim and Gil for Brian and sending them overboard, and it kind of relaxed the situation. And hopefully there's plenty of protein powder down there for them. And they can go work out. Ready? Bye-bye. Go on. You know, I think after the day today, you're going to want to come back and visit Boston. So you love this place so much, huh? You love Boston. Could you ever see yourself anywhere else? I really love this city. But I mean, if our relationship advanced, you know, I, I could leave. I was really surprised to hear Brian talk about leaving Boston because he, he does talk about how much he loves this town. To hear him say that for the right reasons, to follow his heart when he's had a box around his heart all this time, it just blew me away. All right, uh, you know, we're heading back into port here, and I'm going to take you to the most famous museum in Boston. Nice. You're going to like it. I'm ready. Here we wow. go. Oh, wow. When I said museum, you probably have something else in mind. But. I was thinking a different kind of museum. Yeah, a different kind of museum. It was awesome to be there with her in Fenway Park, my favorite place in the whole world. So who's your favorite all-time baseball player? My favorite player is uh, Timmy Wakefield. You know, he loves playing for the Boston Red Sox. He loves the city. He loves the fan. He loves the passion of the fans. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, to me, means a lot. Mm -hmm. I, uh... Hi. Hey, Tim. Tim Wakefield. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice Brian meet you. Worth. Nice to meet you. This is Larissa. Hi, Larissa. Hi. Nice, nice to meet to you. Meet you. Welcome to Fenway Park. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. And I'm not a butt kisser, but, but you are. <laughs> You're my favorite player in the Sox. Thank you. You know, I have a lot of respect for you. I'm not sure if I should call you Mr. Wakefield or... You know, call don't... me Tim, Okay, please. thank you, thank you. Uh, it's there, Tim Wakefield, in person. All of a sudden, I was like a kid in a candy store. I was on cloud nine. It's really fun to watch Brian get so excited. I definitely do get swept up in Brian's enthusiasm. You can't help but just watch him and be drawn into his excitement. How's it been going so far? I think it's going very well. Yeah. It's going great. Yep. When I first met her, you know, I... I I thought she was too good to be true. You know, I thought there was, she, she's just incredible. Very genuine, uh, very sincere. Brian said some really kind things about me in front of Tim, and I was just like, wow, I can't believe I've never had any guy like talk nice about me to another guy when I was standing right there. Every once in a while, I get a little serious. Well, a beautiful woman will do that to guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. What my wife and I like about each other, we're kind of best friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? You need a exactly. best friend in life. Yep. She's, She's making me romantic. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right to be that way. It's a true dream come true. In honor of being here at Fenway Thank Park, you, you get your official Red Sox uniforms. Nice. Oh, nice. I never, ever thought in a million years I'd be out in center field of Fenway with Tim Wakefield. Never ever with Larissa right there. It was like being in a dream. Tim, thank you very oh, much. My pleasure. Awesome. That Thanks was so for, awesome. Dream come true. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me out here. Thank you. Good luck and all your decisions and thank all that you. stuff. You got a good guy here. I know. He's all a right. great guy. How cool is that? That was awesome. Oh. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. The Red Sox welcome Brian and Larissa to oh, Fenway Park. That's so cool. So amazing. I can't explain it. I mean, there's no words to describe that. And uh, I had to share, share some thoughts with Larissa at that moment. I couldn't have thought of a better time to do it. I am not as good looking on your arm as Gil, but I want you to know that I'm always going to be there for you. Always. Mm -hmm. I think it's so amazing. I think it's so amazing. There's, there's only a select few things in this world uh, worth fighting for. And I think you're one of them. Mm. That kiss on center field with Larissa, it was like the Red Sox won the World Series. 
I can't ever come to this ballpark again and, and not think of that. The moment that I shared there with Larissa, never, I'll never forget, never forget it. I fell in love in center field at Fenway Park. After Fenway, we went across the street to a bar, and all of a sudden, there's this group of guys, and they start applauding as we're walking in. And it turns out that they were four of Brian's closest friends. <laughs> we had a great day. I'm sure Brian's a better storyteller than I am. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> when they walked in the room, I was like overtaken by her. I was like, that is crazy. That is unbelievable. Brian and I go out all the time, and that was beautiful. She is gorgeous. It wasn't Brian walking through that door. It was Brian and Larissa. And that, from that first date, did you have a connection with Brian, you think? Oh, or? absolutely. Really? Absolutely. That's why I'm here with him right now. I think they could see by the way I walked in with her that I'm just thrilled to death to be with this girl. That's new for them. You know, they haven't seen that side of me with a girl. Whatever may happen, I just wish you guys the best, really. You know? Nice. Cheers again. I just want another drink. <laughs> I was very proud to be in love you know, with Larissa and one of my friends. I liked kissing her in front of them. I, I want them to, to know that she's a keeper. This is, I think that this is the one. Larissa and I took a limo down to the Boston Harbor Hotel. This is down on the waterfront, about 100 yards from where I work. Oh my gosh, wow. Look at this. It was gorgeous. The pavilion was decorated by spruce floral. Thank you. You're welcome. Tonight was very romantic. You know, I've been on other dates with, with the other guys, obviously eating dinner in beautiful settings, but there was something about the energy tonight that was different. Today just went exactly the way I dreamed it could go, and it did, and I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm, act I'm so thrilled. I wish, I wish we had more time here. There's so much. I'm going to take today and, and never, ever forget it. It was a very powerful moment when we kissed because it was different than any of the other kisses I've had with Brian. The other times I held back a little bit, but I found that just tonight, he knew what he was doing. He knew what he wanted this time. I learned a lot, you know, from this trip. And, you know, it's all because of you. You've taught me a lot, including I wanted to, to tell her. I wanted to say, you know, say the three words that I've never said before. You know, all these emotions that I've had inside. Love is one of them. But I'll save uh, a few words for a, uh, a private moment. I'd like to say something in private. She had a reaction because she has very strong feelings for me. To hear him say those words or want to say that and express that to me, just the fact that he has so much emotion and that he's never felt that way about anybody. And to tell that to me just, it makes me feel amazing. Actually, I'm very proud of myself for opening up and, and all the things that I did in there. You know, for Christ's sakes, you know, I'm 31 and I need, I need love. I need to be in a relationship with love. I know I love Larissa and, you know, it's just, it's, it's just time for me to do this.
It has all led to this. Larissa has made up her mind, but she still has one secret left to reveal. I do have something in my past. Two guys. I don't think there's a comparison. The smart decision would be me. I am nervous about this. I really would like to get picked. One flies away with her tonight. The other has a seat on the bus ride home. The dramatic final elimination is next. This is it. The two guys on their way here are both amazing. I am nervous about this. I never in a million years thought I would be in this situation, feeling the way that I do. I, I really would like to get picked. I really, really would. I'm the last of the old guys, and I want to show the world that the average regular guy can get the girl. The decision to choose one is not an easy choice because they have different qualities. On one hand, you want to be physically attracted to somebody. You want to have that passion. Being in a relationship with Larissa would make my life better because what I'm looking for is true happiness. And when I'm with her, I'm happy. But you also want to have somebody that has depth and has a great personality and has a big heart. My life, you know, so far, I think has been like a masterpiece, but in black and white. So finally I've fallen in love. It's, you know, almost like I've been colorblind, and then all of a sudden I've been able to see color, you know, through this experience because of Larissa. Standing here waiting for the guys to arrive is the hardest thing that I've had to do so far. I completely dread making this final decision because it's not going to be easy. If I'm not picked, it's going to be Nothing but heartbreak. I would feel, you know, extremely let down. This is a very, uh, very lonely drive right now. Um, yeah, I feel very isolated. It's the end of the road, and I'm really kind of looking forward to seeing exactly what Larissa is thinking. It's almost on the, the level of uh, bleeding also, but uh, um, I'm thinking positive thoughts. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. I'm ready for a decision. <laughs> I'm so torn, and hurting one of these guys is going to completely tear me apart. You intrigue me. I know that I have feelings for you. Strong feelings. But sometimes I question whether you're ready to take it to the next level. So I hope you understand that there's only one thing I can do. And that's to trust my instinct. tells me that you're the one for me. And I want you to fly away with me tonight. And I want to see if we can make this fantasy a reality. <laughs> for trusting your instincts. You're right. This has been a long, long trip. It's a long process trying to get to know her and her doing the same for me. So for us to finally make it to the end of the road together was, uh, you know, it was, it was it was a great feeling. I don't I don't know what to say. I'm so happy. I was hoping that you would go with your instinct. I was hoping that you would trust, you know, what the connection that we had. And I'm so glad you did. So glad. Gil 
is the one because many times when I kept thinking about him, when I was out on other dates, that I would see things that would remind me of him. And it also intrigues me that he is guarded. I think it makes him very real. I think you're pretty amazing. I think you are too. That's why I think we're gonna have a really good time. And I think we got, uh, I think we got a chance. A good one. I really do. Extremely excited. I mean, everything. And now I know. Now I know how she feels, and that um, you know she feels that our connection, that the same way that I felt that our connection was was a real thing and something that we could build on. So I'm I'm extremely excited. I want to be the one picked. I just want to be picked so bad. I know I love Larissa, and this could be the beginning of something very very special. saw each other at night in the Boston Harbor. Mm -hmm. You moved me. You made me happy in a way no other man has in a long, long time. It was in your beautiful words. It was in your kiss. And I always knew that you would treat me like a queen. And that night, you did. deserve a woman who can look at you right now and say, I love you too. Ryan, I wish I was the one. But my heart is telling me something else. The change that I've seen in you and the trust that we have in each other. And I hope that that trust can grow into a lifelong friendship, even though I know I'm going to hurt your feelings tonight. I think you are the most interesting person I have ever met. And I had an amazing time with you those nights. I got the stringy stuff. What is that? I've never really felt a connection with anybody else like I do with you. That has got to be the hardest thing that I've done this whole time. I want so badly to be able to feel for Brian what he feels for me. And I know I guess it's better to do it now than to wait six months from now, a year from now. I just, I want so badly to feel that. I just, I don't right now. It's 
it's it's the end of of, of what's been an amazing journey uh, for me. I've uh, I've tasted the highest high that I've ever had in my life. You know, our date in Boston was was the best day of my life, and um, now I'm, I'm at the lowest point right now. This is, this is the lowest, lowest of the lows. You know, it would have been a, another dream night to hear her, to hear Larissa tell me that she loved me back, and it didn't happen. I'm absolutely devastated. I really am. Um, you know, I, I fell for this girl, and, you know, she didn't um, have the same feelings for me, so that's, um, that hurts. That really hurts. I just thought she was the most amazing thing, so I, I'm, I'm kind of shocked because I, I really thought, you know, the two of us had something really special. And right now, I can't believe it's all over. I'm, I'm broken up about it. I'm broken up about it. I was a little guy in the scenario. I was the underdog. Um, I gave him my best shot. I, you know, I, I fought all the way through. Um, I'm very proud of myself. There's a lot of great guys that um, she eliminated, and I'm proud to, that, that she kept me around. You know, I'm never going to forget her. I'm never going to forget her. There's one more twist left. There's something that I need to tell Gail about myself, and I think this trip is the right time to do it. The trip to Cabo started off incredibly. Oh my god. No, you were not gonna really put me in the pool. It was three really wonderful days of beautiful moments and just us getting to know each other. No! Then <laughs> on the fourth day, a storm moved in. And I don't know if that was a bad sign, but to me I think honesty is the most important thing in a relationship. And I do have something in my past that I felt it was time for Gil to know. Gil, I, I wanted to tell you something that is who I used to date, and it shouldn't be a big deal, but I'd rather have you hear it from me than from somebody else, but um, my ex-boyfriend was Fabio. I told him who I was with, and he took it pretty hard. I don't know how you... I don't know how you react to something like this. When I found out that Larissa had been uh, with Fabio, you know, I have a, a serious preconceived notion about Fabio. Who doesn't? If it had been anybody else that nobody knew, it wouldn't be an issue, which is kind of why it's not fair, because there's judgments placed on my ex that people assume he's a certain way. Any guy in the United States of America can feel with me on this one. He's on the cheesy romance novel, so I mean, with some cheesy pose sitting there, it's beyond me. <laughs> to be right. I feel like everything that he's said, everything that he's done, every time he's kissed me, every time he's touched me, meant nothing. Just all I have to do is say, put yourself in my position. That's all I have to say to anyone. Put yourself in my position. And what is it that irks you about it? And it's the same thing that irks me. Fabio. The more time I have to think about it, that whole thing just keeps just regurgitating. I don't see how that can be any good. So um, this has been a great experience, and let's just take it for that and be done with it. The hardest part about saying goodbye to Gil is that I know that we had a great time, and I know that we could have a great relationship, and there could be a lot of potential there. And it just really sucks that he can't accept it. But maybe now I know how Brian Worth feels. I want you to know that I'm always going to be there for you. 
always. I know that the way that I feel right now, I have not felt in a long, long time to have that rejection, to be rejected. And it's kind of funny because I'm sitting here rejecting guys. 20, 25 guys went home that were rejected. And in the end, I'm getting rejected. Shame on me. You know, it didn't pan out in the end as far as the relationship with Larissa, but Brian Worth with no eyes. He's gonna walk out of here with his head held high, very high. I have so many fond memories from this whole experience and I just wanna keep them going. Cheers. It's been worth it. I've taken a risk. You know, I've grown emotionally. You've taught me, you know, all these emotions that I've had inside. Love is one of them. I'm a different person than when I started this. And that, to me, it's priceless. And I have Larissa to thank for that. This is the beginning. OK. All right. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you want to eat them, or do you want to let them go?